yeah hello all yeah. so welcome back okay. so i hope uh, you already have tried uh, to get the solution for the real time scenario 4 yeah. so i think some of you might got the solution and uh, some of you are waiting for the solution yeah but not an issue uh, anyhow today i will give you the solution for that okay. so before that let me tell you the scenario again okay it's nothing but the sales order which was got created in 2021 yeah and the business would like to create the invoice for that sales order in 2022 okay so meanwhile some changes were happened in the company and the company would like to add some extra charge to the customers mm. so in 2021 the sales order was created for 80 rupees and okay. now in 2022 the company would like to add 50 rupees more to that same sales order sales. in the sales invoice order. level mm. okay so now let me okay create the same thing here okay then now i would like to create mm. the invoice mm. okay so this is for example let us take it as 2021 mm. so this is what is the sales order which is getting created for 2021 so let us assume that mm. okay and here in the sales order the net value is 80 rupees right 80 mm, yeah so now let me do the delivery mm. so here the delivery was also completed okay and now let us try to create the invoice mm. so here in the invoice we can see the net value is still mm. 80 rupees okay okay so now let us take this invoice number aside mm. because we have to create the invoice for the same number for mm. the same delivery number mm. so i am keeping the number here mm. so this is what is the delivery number for which we have to create the invoice for 130 rupees right okay mm. so now so here the company has decided to add some extra value right so now yeah. let us create one condition type for that mm. so here let me name it as for example jext mm. okay okay so this is what is the yeah. extra charge okay so here jext is the extra charge and which is the positive value here and here okay. the scale basis is value scale okay so now let me create the condition record for this okay jext right yeah so here let me give the material as vaccine 150 and here the mm. amount is 50 rupees yeah. so now let me place it into the pricing procedure mm. so here this okay. is our pricing procedure okay so here let me place it in the step number 50 mm. so here the condition type name is jext okay so let me calculate it on mm. step number 30 and here let me give era okay so here we have already placed it into the pricing mm. procedure also okay so now let me create the sales order mm.
so if we create a new sales order we mm. can see that the price is getting mm. added here mm. right the extra yeah. 50 rupees discount is getting not discount the extra 50 rupees mm. charge is getting added here mm. and now let us create the invoice mm. for this delivery okay so here let me create and here we can see that the amount is not getting added mm. right yeah so here we are using mm. some controls in the condition type controls mm. to make let me go through this zext mm. right yeah. so this is what is the condition type right yeah so here i am changing something in the controls mm. especially in the condition category Okay. So, which will enable us to redetermine the condition type there in the invoice. Mm -hmm. okay? Okay, okay? So, the condition type was not there in the sales document, but we would like to mm -hmm. determine it there in the invoice. So, mm -hmm. here what I am trying to do is, I would like to make the condition category L, condition category as L. Okay? So if yeah, if the condition That's category it. is L, then what is the short yeah. description of the condition category? It's generally new when copying. Yeah, okay. Okay. Mm. So here, let okay. me change the condition category mm. as L mm. to the condition type here. And now let me save it. Okay. Okay. So mm. if we try to create mm. the invoice. Mm. for the same delivery number so this is what is okay. the delivery number right yeah so 8001520206 yeah so now so what is the value here mm. 130 130 so previously it was mm. 80 rupees 80 mm. but now it became mm. 130 so yeah. how it became 130 because we have used the condition category mm. as L mm. the main purpose of the condition category L is nothing but mm. new when it is copying mm. so it was not there in the sales order but even if we are going to mm. redetermine it into the invoice ok ok so now let me save the invoice mm. so here this is what is the invoice right Nine double zero three six two six seven. So let me go through the mm. change mode of that. Mm. So here, let me go through the change mode of the invoice. Mm. Mm. So here, if we go through the conditions, okay. Here we can able to see ZEXT mm. which got determined. Okay. Okay. So let us see okay. if the same condition type is there in the sales document or not. Okay. So can you guess if the same condition type is there in the sales order or not? Condition type. Uh, no, I think uh, it, it will be there. It will be there. Mm. Right? Yeah. Okay. But the condition type will not be there. See. Okay. Mm. So this is the requirement that the condition type was not there in the sales document, but to trigger mm. it or but to add it in the invoice okay. level itself only. Mm. Okay. Okay. So I hope you are clear with the session. Yes. Sir. Yeah. And if you have any queries in this regard, you can ask me now. Mm. and uh, one small request from my end if you mm. are really getting help with the videos which i am uploading mm. here please mm. like share and comment in the same way mm. please subscribe the channel to get more interesting videos on the real time issues okay so i think you will do that thank you yes, have a nice day